Hello again, and we're back. So today we're going to talk about embracing failure. I know for some of you, you're like, ah, I can't do that, right? Uh, but here, here's the deal, right? If you do not embrace the potential for failure, then you will never achieve the levels that you are capable of achieving. Failure doesn't actually exist, okay? Um, the only way to fail is to give up. And even if you give up, that failure can be the stepping stone on which you succeed later. Uh, years ago, when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I was reading tons of books around uh, of autobiographies and biographies of millionaires because I wanted to wrap my head around it. And I'll tell you a fun fact. The average millionaire at that time, I haven't done the research since, but at that time, the average millionaire declared bankruptcy twice before making their millions. So if they had let failure to stop them, they would never have made their millions, right? So I just, I want you to embrace the possibility of failure. If you had never given yourself permission to fail when you were learning how to walk, you would still be crawling today. Okay, we get up, we fall down, we get up, we fall down, we get up, we fall down until we stand and we keep walking, right? And even then, sometimes we fall down, right? but we don't take a fall down as a failure now. We take it as a oops, it was a mistake, no big deal, right? So, you know, I think a lot of the times we go into uh, endeavors with the what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't work? What if it fails? What if I fail? Right? And oftentimes we'll put the weight of our self-worth on top of whatever the endeavor is. And that's the kiss of death right there. Because if you put the weight of your self-worth on top of something that you're doing, then you go, if this fails, I am a failure. Well, shit, man, you're never going to do anything. You're just going to sit there and go, Whoa, I can't, I can't. Right? Because you know the idea that you are forever a failure because you failed at this one thing is, is horrifying. Don't do that to yourself. Don't. No, no, no. You know, I, I'm a big fan of, you know, the more times you get up, the more successful you are. So you got to fall down to get up. So if you define success as the more times I get up, then you're fine, right? Everybody's going to fail at things sometimes. I have had countless failures in my life. Oh my God, countless failures in my life. In fact, that's what kept me in my marriage for so long. I knew six months in, it was a nightmare, but I wasn't going to make my father right. That's number one, right? Because <laughs> that's 21 and I was still spiting my father who said it would never last. And two, I didn't want to admit that I failed. And for the next six and a half years, I didn't want to admit that I failed until finally at year seven, I was like, you know what? I can admit I failed and take a chance of being happy, or I can stay here, never admit that I failed, and be miserable for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, I got out. So this is what I'm saying. So sometimes our, our fear of failure will lock us into places that we don't want to be. It will hold us back from trying things that could make us wildly successful, or, you know, we could fail. It could happen, right? And then we get up and we try something else, right? <laughs> you know, it, it, nothing is guaranteed in this life, right? So you just got to throw your ass to the wind and make it work. And you're just like, oh, let's try it. See what happens, right? That's the attitude. Let's try it. See what happens. Instead of, oh my God, this has to work or I'm a failure. See the difference between the two attitudes? That's the difference between being able to embrace failure and not. Okay, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, and rate. Thank you.